Hey everyone, how's it? I hope everything's going great. I wanted to show you a quick video on tracheal malacia. Here I'm doing a flexible bronchoscopy. Uh, and you can see here mid trachea, you see a pretty malasic segment. We're giving positive pressure, that's what's causing the airway to open up. Uh, this particular child just had a lot of secretion issues, so we were checking to make sure that things were okay. Uh, she has a known history of tracheoesophageal fistula repaired many years ago. And as you can see, she's got pretty significant mid tracheal malacia, pretty, um, pretty uh, uh, common with children who've had tracheoesophageal fistulas in the past. And also, considering this child has scoliosis, not unexpected findings. She does have a lot of secretions, which also can be an issue with kids with chronic malacia. I think she's also got mid an aspect of aspiration. Uh, we noted the uh, laryngeal tracheal cleft, sort of a type one cleft as well, but you can see here lots of secretions in the airway. But she's doing pretty good, maintaining her airways, not having a lot of sleep disorder breathing. Uh, she's not having a lot of recurrent pneumonias. So she in effect is maintaining things. She's able to somehow clear these secretions uh, enough. So typically you would just watch, but there's other things you could do if needed. Anyway, again, you can see here mid tracheal malacia that opens and closes uh, with ins insufflation. So, just some quick take home points on tracheal malacia. Um, one, you know, it could be acquired or congenital. Uh, it usually causes airway obstruction, secretion management issues, treatment, observation, CPAP, pulmonary toilet. You can also do surgery. Surgery typically they try to if it's external compression, you start thinking about aorta pexy or repositioning pulmonary vessels somehow. Uh, there's also this thing called posterior tracheal plexi. And then for short segments, you can either resect this tissue or do a slide tracheoplasty. Anyway, uh, this is a quick overview of tracheal malacia. Hope everything is well. Take care.